When my mom came to New York, there weren't too many Chinese women because of the Exclusion Act. The United States had only let the men come in and build the railroad and dig for gold and all that stuff. They didn't come with families. So my mother was one of the pioneer women. <laughs> I was born on Moss Street, and in those days, the doctor came to the house. In fact, two of my brothers were also born in that apartment. My mother and father had a bedroom. My three brothers lived on a sofa, and I lived in the kitchen. Once in a while, we had some cousins stay with us too. I don't know how. It was like a Chinese village. There were so many of us. We went to school at PS23, and most of my classmates were Italian. We used to have a field day in Columbus Park. We did the maple dance and some Italian dances, like Tarantella. Now, you have mostly Chinese people down in this area. When I was young, it was mostly restaurant workers, laundry workers. The ladies used to work in the garment industry. Now, we have teachers, we have lawyers, you name it, we have it. I started teaching in um, 1960. In my day, we had science, social studies. We took the kids out to play. Nowadays, they learn how to read. <laughs> it's not the same. We gave them experiences. We took them on trips. This is a lot you learn in the city. We celebrate Chinese New Year's. It's part of our heritage. It's also traditional to set up oranges because it's good luck. I have to make this every year. Otherwise, one brother or another would ask for it. This is turnip cake. It doesn't look like much, but it tastes good. Do you know you can Google it? <laughs> it's not as much fun as it was uh, when I was younger because what is Chinese New Year's without firecrackers? Everyone in the streets had them, and they would throw them at the dragons. Nowadays, they have those tubes that they're selling as firecrackers. They're not firecrackers. It goes one poof, and you get colored tissue paper. But I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> I'm connected to this neighborhood because I've been here so long. I love New York.